The time has come to begin my lawn renovation, so today we're going to be talking about step one in that process. I'll take you through everything that we're going to be doing, so stay tuned for that. So I mentioned in my last video that I'm going to be killing off a portion of my yard to completely reseed that. And that step is going to start today. Now I'm a little bit later than I would like to be. If you can, if you're thinking about this in the future and you're gonna just kind of watch this whole process this year, I'm right around maybe mid-July for cool season grass. It kind of depends on your climate, but you want to be planting somewhere around 10 weeks before your first frost date or average frost date. So just kind of gauge that with your area and what you want to do. But I'm, I wanted to start maybe a, two weeks ago or so. I just kind of time got away from me. And so I really can't do anything about that, but we're going to get started today. Day. So here's what I'm going to be using for the product to kill everything. This is just a grass and weed killer. has a glyphosate as the main ingredient and this one is the 41% stuff. So I know that there's going to be some people who don't want to go the method of killing with Roundup or this chemical and there are some other ways that you can possibly do it. I've heard of different things. Uh, you can do a little research on your own on that if you'd like to go with some kind of different route of killing things. But for me, I'm running out of time as well, so I kind of have to do what I have to do here. It's a small section that I'm spraying, so take that as you will. It's up to you what you want to use, but I'm going to be using this product. I've got this cheap old hand can that I just used to spray Roundup. Um, I don't really spray it that often in general, but if you do spray it, you want to make sure you have a can dedicated to that. In my experience, at least, I actually ended up killing off a decent amount of my backyard in a few different sections a couple years ago and I did a video about that. But I kind of came to the conclusion that the Roundup was embedded in the plastic even though I'd rinsed it, soap multiple times, things like that. Uh, sometimes there can be some residual still in there. So just for, in my opinion I wouldn't chance it at all. Just use one of these $10, $15 hand cans for that and just don't ever use that for anything else. That's just my advice. You can do what you want, but learn from me and my mistakes. I would just get a dedicated can. Whoever came up with this little tab system here to try to pull off these instructions, it just does not work well, so just letting you know. All right, so we're going to the lawn renovation section of these instructions, and it kind of gives you some things here. Now, one thing that's going on with mine is my grass is slightly dormant right now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray it right now and kinda see what kind of results we have here. And then I'm gonna begin watering it anyway with a method that I'm gonna show you in the upcoming videos. But if the grass is dormant, then usually it says it's not supposed to work. But in my past experience, I tried a few things last year in spraying some dormant grass. It still seemed to kill it. So I'm just gonna test this out, but I am going to start watering it a little bit anyway, and then we'll see if it needs another application. So for the lawn renovation part of these instructions, it says you need two and a half ounces per gallon of water. That should cover 300 square feet. Now I have about a thousand square feet to spray here, so we're going to have to do a few applications or a few fills of the tank, I should say. So that's the rate uh, for this specific product, but check your instructions for what you need. Last thing I'm going to be using as part of this is the Market Blue stuff or any kind of blue or some kind of dye that you want to use. I like this just because you know where you've already sprayed. Also this works along the edges very well to make sure that you're not going into another area that you don't want to spray. So some kind of dye is helpful. Okay this thing is half full of water and we need two and a half ounces. I got this little container here that I use just for Roundup as well just to measure things.
I actually think the neighbors might think that I'm dyeing my lawn green because it does look pretty green from that blue dye mixing with the grass, but here in a few days they'll know for sure what's going on. So again, just read your instructions, it's very important, and here in a few days I will let you know some progress of what it's looking like. Stay tuned for that. Thanks so much for watching, we'll see you next time.